Puerto Rico. It's 4.30 and I'm taking off for Puerto Rico. I'm leaving so early so I could spend some time on the beach. Saludos de Puerto Rico. I'm here for a Christians in Theater Arts conference where we're using theater to address social issues through applied theater. We will teach you uh, in the next three days how to use theater with communities, how to use theater to help people with social issues, uh, with disabilities, um, addiction recovery, lots and lots of applications. And we will, is anyone following? Need translations? Today I was working with uh, social drama, teaching a social drama workshop that I started yesterday. Yesterday we dealt with drug addiction and in our enactment we had a young woman uh, confronting her older brother who was a drug dealer. Don't hesitate. Jump in, practice. You can't make a mistake. Pouring down rain and you still have to keep walking because you're on your way somewhere and you need to get where you're going but it's muddy and it's raining and now it's sleet and yes it's snowing in Puerto Rico. Oh. It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> The conference featured a play that showed many of the problems that exist in society today, in Puerto Rico and around the world. During the talk back that followed, Dr. Alma Biegas brought insight into the play and the nature of Christian produced theater. Porque el teatro tiene una misión eh, de transformación a la sociedad. I'm amazed um, listening at the stories that the people are telling me about their experiences and what they are doing, they are learning and they are crying and making new friends. So I am very happy and it is more than I expect. This is the third event, right, mm -hmm. in Puerto Rico? And I think Luisa's idea for this event was to move beyond the Christian theater community really into the broader theater community. So the idea of theater that serves social needs opens it up to a broad range of people. We really have a very broad group of people here this time. So it's a big step forward. It's been really neat. I think one of my favorite things about this conference in particular is how everyone here, when they talk about how they want to use drama, it's for the purposes of healing and for restoration, for therapy and for life change. And uh, there's a, a very different feel about it. We think theater people, oh, they're so self-centered. They're all about <laughs> themselves. They're in their own little world. Their egos are very big. And all of these people that we're interacting with here have a, very much of a focus on their audience or on their participants. Mm -hmm. That's come through over and over and over yeah. again. Mm -hmm. They're here because they want to help people, not yeah. because they want to be stars or be famous. Yeah. They want to serve people. People are going to take away from this and use it in their lives, in the circles that God has put them in to be able to use it for healing. So that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, has been wonderful because one of my uh, personal goals is to keep developing writers and at different levels. So we are focusing here also in, in transforming the world, mm -hmm. you know, in changing everything and uh, seeing a group of people uh, really focusing and trying to develop the writing skills that I know is probably in the theater one of the most difficult, I really felt very happy. And I think what Luisa said also with people being willing to tell their stories, you know, there's some mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. deep stories of tragedy and trauma and things that people have gone through, and to see them wanting to find ways to use those stories to bring about healing in mm -hmm. other people is really, really neat really was a moment when I, we were a small group, but very electrifying, very, mm -hmm. we felt the spirit of the Lord was something special, was not about words, but was more about those moments where you mm -hmm. feel something and you cannot talk. Mm -hmm. And I felt like a, that was like a, wow. a wonderful experience, <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you can't make those happen. No. Exactly. No. It was something that just happened. Exactly. But it would not have happened if Louisa hadn't made a plan for everyone to be here this weekend. Yes, exactly. So that those kind of interactions can happen. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep supporting Louisa's efforts to find a way to financially and time-wise mm -hmm. and with all the volunteers to, get it, to make a place for people to come and mm -hmm. have those kind of experiences. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to come back. Yes. All right.